مرحبا مرحبا جد الحسين مرحبا صلاة الله على أحمد مرحبا حج تحرير الصدور مرحبا أحمد الهادي محمد مرحبا صاحب الوجه المنير مرحبا مرحبا يا نور العين مرحبا مرحبا جد الحسين مرحبا مرحبا يا نور العين مرحبا مرحبا جد الحسين مرحبا مرحبا يا نور العين مرحبا مرحبا جد الحسين مرحبا اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك عليه اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وصل صلاة تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتغضى به الحبايب وتنال به الرغائب وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين Takbir Takbir ما شاء الله we were enjoying this beautiful poetry in Arabic. Sheikh Omar Group and his his associates were presenting this Qasida in Arabic. After this Natiya Qasida, we have Dr. Abdul Haq Godless among us. He is associate professor of Arabic and Islamic studies at the University of Georgia. I request Dr. Abdul Haq Godless to present his talk. The topic of his talk is the way of being of. Bahauddin Naqshban as a mirror of the manner of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the view of Maulana Jami Dr. Abdullah Godless has received his PhD from the University of California under the guidance of Professor Hamad Algar Dr. Abdullah Godless أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In general, the great Muslim saints have been viewed as those who have continued certain aspects of the spirituality of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم One of these saints, these awliya was Bahauddin Naqshband, Qadda Sallahu Sirrahu, who died in the year 1390 of the Common Era. Maulana Jami, who lived about a century later than Bahauddin Naqshband and died in 1492 of the Common Era, believed that Hazrat Bahauddin was a saint who mirrored certain dimensions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a saint who continued his manner of being, a saint who continued the manner of being of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mulana Jami rahmatullah alayhi wrote about Hazrat al-Bahadeen in a Persian work of his on the lives of many of the Muslim awliya the Muslim saints. The name of this book is the Nafahat al-Uns. There, both explicitly and implicitly, Jami linked Hazrat Bahauddin to the Prophet's orientation and way of being, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In my talk today, I'll discuss some of Jami's understanding of the manner and the path of Hazrat Bahauddin in the hopes that in his mirror, in the mirror of Hazrat Bahadi Naqshband Qadda Sallahu Sirahu, in the hopes that in his mirror we may deepen and broaden our understanding of the manner and the being of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
Hazrat Baha Din learned both the outer form of the adab, the manners of the spiritual path, as well as their inner dimension, their relationship to the truth beyond the manifest world. He, lo he learned both the outer and the inner dimension of adab. It must be emphasized that adab, which today is largely understood as various appropriate actions or manners, it must be understood that adab also has an inner dimension. Furthermore, this inner dimension of adab is more real and significant than the outer actions. Hence, the inner dimension of adab is called its truth, at least according to Bahadi Naqshband. Hazrati Bahadin's teacher in the outer form of the adab of the path was Sayyid Amir Kulal, whereas his master for the inner spiritual dimension for the truth of adab was Abdul Khalaq Qijdivani. Qaddasallahu sirrahuma al -azizu. As Jami expresses it, Hazrat Bahadin, and I quote, learned proper manners of the path, adab tariqat with regard to the form Hasab surat from Sayyid Amir Kulal. But with regard to their truth, Hasab Haqiqat, he was an Uwaisi, being trained by the spiritual dimension, Tarbiyat az Ruhaniyat of Khwaja Abdul Khaliq Qajdivani. In addition to possessing the qualities of following both the outer and the inner adab of the spiritual path, Jami informs us that Hazrati Bahadin was an Uwaisi, as I mentioned. The term Uwaisi refers to someone who, like the well-known companion of the Prophet Uwais al-Qarani, rahmatullah alayh, an Uwaisi is someone who has a relationship with a spiritual teacher that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Just as Uwais's experience of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, transcended the boundaries of space, so too, Hazrat Bahadin was initiated into the inner adab of the path by means of a relationship that transcended time and space. His preceptor in this relationship was Abdul Khalaq Qijdivani, who had lived about two centuries earlier. Jami provides us with Hazrat Bahadin's own account of his Uwaisi initiation, which I will now translate in an abbreviated form and then discuss. Hazrat Bahadin, and I quote, one night during the beginning of the states, Ahwal, and the domination of spiritual attractions, Ghalabat e Jadabat, during the beginning of the states and the no domination of spiritual attractions, Hazrat Bahadin said, I went to, the, to three of the blessed tombs of Bukhara. In every tomb I saw an illuminated lamp. The holder for each lamp was filled with oil and had a wick, but it was necessary to move the wick slightly to break up the previously burnt section so that the oil would be drawn into the wick and the lamps would once again become lit. In the last tomb, I sat facing the Qibla. During that period of concentration, an incident of absence from ordinary consciousness, ghaybati, occurred. This is still Bahadin Naqshband, who is speaking. I witnessed mushahada that the wall of the Qibla became cleft and a large platform or throne appeared. A green curtain was drawn in front of it and there was a crowd all around it. One among the crowd said to me, ah, this crowd are the khulafa of Bahadi Naqshband. One among the crowd said to me, they are at the platform of Khaji Abdul Khaliq and that crowd are his khulafa, his representatives. I requested from the crowd that I be permitted to convey my greetings to Hadrat Khaja Abdul Khaliq Qajdivani, that I might be ennobled by his blessed beauty, Jamal e Mubarak. They drew aside the curtain. I saw an illuminated master, 